Hello there, my name is Ismail. Welcome to another Blender 2.8 tutorial. And uh, this time, we'll, this is an attempt at uh, making this uh, Venice Street uh, scene. And uh, so we're going to be looking at a few different techniques of modeling uh, in Blender. And uh, yeah, so yeah, the first thing I did is uh, create this river path. Uh, so I used a curve object. Uh, you can see the shortcuts in the, uh, at the bottom left of the screen that i'm using uh, so uh, this would allow me to uh, set up the different uh to prop out uh, uh, the street itself uh because uh, uh the add-on for aligning the camera is not uh yet supported in blender 2.8 so uh, instead of using the camera to to set up uh the scene to match uh the camera the camera i just used I, I just created the path and then uh, the river path and then uh, uh, set, set positioned uh, the buildings along that path. Uh, it didn't really matter. It didn't really matter how if I got uh, the exact scene to look to match, but uh, as long as it looks uh, close to what I was going for, I was okay with that. Uh, yes. So I used the curve object and then used it to deform uh, the the mesh as you saw in the steps that I showed there and uh, yeah so I'm just trying to get uh, my scene to match what uh, the reference image is showing and uh, yeah so I'm adding uh, the the cubes uh, to represent some of the buildings so I want to start I started out by blocking out uh, the different uh, buildings and uh, just to get an idea of uh, the positioning of everything and then I will later add on start adding in uh, different details uh, I will start adding in details for those uh, areas so I'm just extruding and then moving the points and then uh, duplicating different buildings uh, just to get an idea where the different buildings will be and where we'll be adding more detail and uh, where I, where is it is okay not to add that much detail So I'm also, you can see I'm using the mirror tool. So use the shortcut Control M and then the, the axis you want to mirror the object uh, to mirror that. Uh, so you can see, um, so this is like prevising or you prev, I, I don't know what it's called, prevase or something. Yeah, just to get an idea where the different objects, I'm just uh, using simple polygons uh, to get uh, the shapes of the building and the streets. You can, so, you can see here, I'm also adding a few uh, uh, spaces between the buildings. Uh, maybe I will add. I will do a camera uh, run through, running along the uh, the street to, to show some of those details that I'm adding uh, later. I think. Uh, so this is going to be a mini series, and uh, this is going to be part one, blocking out uh, the different buildings and uh, adding a few uh, few details. Uh, so what I'm doing here, I'm trying to create because I'll, I'll be using booleans to cut out uh, areas for the windows and doors uh, that way so that it's easy for me um, uh, because uh, you can see the most of the windows are duplicated uh, the building is the buildings are using the same windows or the same window designs so uh, instead of just build uh, modeling this inside the mesh I use a boolean and I'll model the windows and doors separately uh, so this is uh, the first boolean I'm adding and uh, I'm using the operation of difference uh, to cut out uh, that area uh, for the window. So what I'm doing here, I'm creating an instance of uh, the boolean uh, so that I can easily edit uh, the edit it without worrying about uh, the rotation. Uh, because if I tr if you try to to uh, edit uh, this directly on the mesh. Uh, it, it is going to be very hard for you since uh, uh, the boolean here is rotated. Uh, as you see on the right, on the right you can see how it looks. And uh, I'm just editing the instance. And uh, to make an instance, you just use the shortcut Alt D to make an instance instead of uh, Shift D, which makes a copy of uh, or a duplicate of what you what you have. Uh, so I'm making 
added to the instance but uh, the, the boolean is the boolean object is also getting updated uh, with the changes i'm making here uh, so this makes it easy for me uh, to edit without uh without the angle that i'm editing in being a bit awkward uh, so then here i, I encountered a problem where uh, because i have uh created because i'm using instances uh, you can't apply uh, the scale and rotation of an instance uh, so instead I used a spin modifier and uh, and the reason I was trying to apply the scale and rotation or uh, is because when you use the bevel modifier when you don't have when you have not applied the rotation and scale sorry the, the scale of the object when you have not reset the scale of the object to be uh, one 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 for all axis that is X Y and uh, Z axis uh, uh, the the bevel doesn't really operate well it kind of distorts the mesh a bit so uh instead i opted to use uh the uh the spin tool uh, to make that arc that you see there uh, but at first i tried to use uh the bevel and uh, add a few loop cuts uh to make uh, that curve uh, but because i didn't i couldn't apply the scale and uh, the mesh was getting distorted i opted to use uh, the bully the spin tool uh, which worked out great So you can see I can rotate the instance in whatever direction, whatever angle I want uh, without worrying about how awkward it would be when I'm trying to edit the, that object, uh, that boolean. Uh, so if I want to make edits, I just go back to the instance that I have here and uh, make the edits there. They will be duplicated in the instance and I, as you can see uh, on the left here, I'm making the edits and they being, they're also being updated in the in, uh, in on the bullions so I've also now I've duplicated um, I think I, so I've duplicated uh, one of the faces uh, to create uh, other window and uh, because it's the same size of the bullions I can it can easily fit uh, in the the cutaways of the windows that I've added so as you can see so uh, again I'm making an instance of that window so that I can position it uh, directly where uh, it should go and then I also retain a copy or an instance here that I can edit without worrying about the rotation so I can manipulate uh, this instance here rotate it in any way I want and then make the edits on this uh, instant here instance here and uh, uh, one of the advantages of working like this is that uh, I can easily snap position the object like you saw uh, a few seconds back uh, so I just maybe because I'll, I'll be repeating this step of you I'll be repeating the, this step uh, so I'll, I guess I'll show you that when uh, when I when it comes to that I'll talk about that when it comes to that Yes, so I'm making another copy here. Uh, so this will be a small window and then I've so you can see I'm selecting I'm uh, positioning the cursor to this to the selection and then uh, moving the selection of the instance I've created uh, to that position and now I can change the rotation and uh, edit the instance the way uh, in any way I want. So I'm just adding uh, bars here and uh, any edits I make here are, up are updated on the instance.
So I'm going to be repeating the same steps over and over. Uh, so I don't. Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, I think I repeated the same steps over and over, so I won't be explaining anything else here. Uh, so I'll let you watch uh, the other part, uh, uh, the rest of the, the tutorial, uh, because right now it's, it's, it's just going to be the same thing, just uh, changing a few things. Uh, you can see I'm, 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 making, I'm doing the same steps over and over, just making a few changes uh, in different areas. Uh, to match the shape of what I'm doing. So after this, the next thing is going to be duplicating this window and positioning it at every uh, protrusion you see there, every window, uh, window, I don't know, every window that you see there. So, so this is like a frame uh, for those windows. So I, I'm going to be duplicating that uh, for, for all the windows you see there and uh, basically that will be it for this part and uh, the next part will do the same thing I think I'll be using the same technique for the other uh, buildings in part two and then we can get to the texturing uh, which is the most fun part of all of this and uh, yeah now make sure to leave a like subscribe if you haven't and uh, yeah I'll see you Let's continue with the time lapse as yeah. You remember, you can get the project files on my CG Trader account or my my Patreon account uh, if you are Patreon there. And uh, yeah, thank you.